that is complex integration okay see complex integration means we are integrating function fz with respect to tz fz is u x comma y i of v of x comma y dz is dx plus i dy so if i integrate this u of x comma y plus i of v x comma y dot dx plus i dy I will get something like this u dx minus v dy plus i times of v dx plus u dy okay what this is now we can say that complex integral integral is reduced to two line integrals of real functions okay so it is a simple integral process let's see one uh, we'll see one problem related to this integral integrate over a curve c dz upon z minus a okay so this is a circle c in which z minus a is equal to r e to the power i theta okay so i can write this as 0 to 2 pi 1 upon r e to the power i theta dot i r e to the power i theta d theta this term will cancel remaining here is i 0 to 2 pi d theta which is equals to 2 pi i okay simple just we have equated this to the parametric equation r to the power i theta and we have solved the integral now one more problem in which it is required to find integral 0 to 2 plus i r square dz this integral when i required to find i u i i will uh, means the first part is to find this integral along the line y equal to x by 2 okay now when i have to find y equal to x by 2 i can write x equal to 2y my z is equal to x plus i y i can substitute x with 2y to become 2 plus i whole y this implies that z conjugate is 2 minus i y okay from here i will get dz equal to 2 plus i dy okay now the integral i is equal to 0 to 2 plus i 
z bar square dz this is equal to on substituting in terms of y 2 minus i y whole square dot 2 plus i dy this limit of integral will become from 0 to 1 because z we have substituted 2 plus i y y will become 1 okay when z equal to 0 y is equal to 0 this limit equal to y okay now we can write two minus y square two plus i y cube by three zero to one this will be five times of two minus i dot one by three this will become y by three two minus i okay this is the solution of this So in this way this integral can be found so it is just like a normal integration we just have to substitute along which line we have to find the value of integral okay we will solve one more problem evaluate integral 0 to 1 plus i for x square plus i y dz along the path y equal to x and y equal to x square so two paths are there okay solution dz equal to x plus z equal to x plus i y when I substitute substituting y equal to x this will become dz equals to 1 plus i dx sorry dx okay now that I can write it as my z equal to 1 plus i x so z equal to 0 x equal to 0 z equal to 1 plus i x equal to 1 this will change my limit from 0 to 1 x square plus i x 1 plus i d x so this will be 1 plus i outside 0 to 1 x square dx plus i outside x dx 0 to 1 ok now this i can write it as 1 plus i x cube by 3 0 to 1 plus i x square by 2 0 to 1 so this will this will be can be written as 1 plus i 1 by 3 plus i times of 1 by 2 ok solving this I'll get 1 by 3 plus i dot 1 by 3 plus dot 1 by 2 this implies that 1 by 3 plus 5i by 6 I can take 1 by 3 common 1 plus 5 by by 2 this is the integral for this ok now to find this integral for y equal to x square we have to substitute y in place of x square so that will become z equal to x plus i y so z equal to x plus i x square substituting this 
and getting the answer we will get the result similar process ok next the next topic is Cauchy's theorem ok the definition of this theorem is like this if FZ is an analytic function and f dash z is continuous at each point closed curve C that is f dash z is continuous within or uh, and on closed curve C then integral fz dz is equal to 0 this is the Cauchy's theorem for finding the integral so directly we, we can make use of this theorem and get the answer which is nothing but equal to 0 that means if any, fun FZ, uh, if any function fz complex function fz satisfies this condition its integral will become 0 now how to prove this see f z d z c I can write it that like this dx minus v dy plus i time of v dx minus plus u dy ok since f dash z is continuous then all del u by del x del u by del y del v by del x and del v by del y all are continuous ok now apply Green's theorem Green's theorem will convert these two integral into a new form which will be fz dz is equal to surface integral del v by del x plus del u by del y dx dy plus i times of again surface integral del u by del x minus del v by del y dx dy ok now these two terms which we are seeing since function fz is analytic these two are equal they will get cancelled these two are equal this is again equal to 0 so my integral fz dz c is equal to 0 because they satisfy the cauchy riemanns equation on satisfying the cauchy riemanns equation these two are equal so once they, once they are equal they will follow they, the terms will get cancelled ok we can write here because del u by del x sorry this is del y del u by del x is equal to del v by del y and del u by del y is equal to minus del v by del x due to this reason they are getting cancelled off ok next next is Cauchy's integral formula ok Cauchy's integral formula says that if fz is analytic then 
within and on a closed curve C and if A is any point inside C then F A equal to 1 upon 2 pi i F Z D Z upon Z minus A or directly we can say that if you want to evaluate this integral this integral is nothing but equal to 2 pi i times F A okay so there are two meanings of Cauchy's integral formula okay so this is this formula helps in calculating various integral let's see one see this problem integrate z square minus z plus 1 upon z minus 1 dz where c is the circle mod z equal to 1 ok mod z equal to 1 mod z equal to 1 contains a point z equal to 1 ok solution a is equal to 1 this a lies on mod z equal to 1 radius cir circle of radius 1 then integral of z square minus z plus 1 upon z minus 1 is equal to 2 pi i f of a f of z is what z square minus z plus 1 thus f of a will become 1 minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 thus the value of this integral is 2 pi i ok this way this problem is solved now take, take now take the same problem but this time a circle is mod z equal to 1 by 2 now clearly a is equal to 1 not lying inside mod z equal to 1 by 2 ok thus once it is not lying inside this z square minus z plus 1 upon z minus 1 dz directly equal to 0 if it lies inside this then we can use the Cauchy's integral formula otherwise by Cauchy's theorem this will become 0 ok now other cases in this just write a note we have taken a simple case but 1 upon 2 pi i integral c fz upon z minus a whole square dz is equal to f double dash a ok 2 factorial just see once again we have taken a simple case in which only z minus a single power is there now if the double power if the cube whole square to the power 4 then how the things will change 2 pi i fz upon z minus a whole cube dz equals to f double dash a in general I can write n factorial upon 2 pi i fz upon z minus a to the power n plus 1 dz is equal to f n a fz differentiated n times and then substituted by a ok so these are the formulas which we have to remember on depending on the formulas we have seen just we will see one problem integrate 
e to the power 2 z upon z plus 1 whole to the power 4 dz over the curve c where c is a circle mod z equal to 2 solution now a equal to minus 1 lying inside mod z equal to 2 ok thus integral of e to the power 2 z upon z plus 1 whole to the power 4 can be written as 2 pi i upon 3 factorial d by d cube by d z cube e to the power 2 z substituted by z a equal to minus 1. This will give me 2 pi i upon 6 8 e to the power 2 z z equal to minus 1 shall become 8 pi i by 3 e to the power minus 2 understood how to solve this simple yes we have to use the formula and directly apply the formula and get the answer there's no confusion in this only thing is that we have to remember that the a point the value of a should lies within the curve if it is lying outside the curve then by Cauchy's theorem integral directly becomes 0 otherwise integral has got some value now we'll solve one more problem related to this theorem integrate over curve C z upon z square minus 3z plus 2 dz where C is a circle with mod of z minus 2 equal to 1 by 2 now first we will plot this z equal to 2 so this is my center ok from this center the radius is 1 by 2 so I will have point 1.5 to 2.5 this is my region ok I can write this as z plane now looking at the integral z upon z minus 1 z minus 2 dz now this integral c z upon z minus 1 z minus 2 dz can be written as integral c 2 upon z minus 2 minus integral c 1 upon z minus 1 dz and dz for this integral a is equal to 2 for this integral a is equal to 1 now for first integral a equal to 2 is lying inside the region inside the circle C so but for second integral a equal to 1 lying outside the circle C so second integral definitely will become automatically will become equal to 0 only we have first integral to solve this equal to 2 pi i into fz 2 pi i into 2 which is equal to 
4 pi i this is the answer for this okay understood we can readily omit the integral which is becoming equal to 0 depending on the value of a if the value of a is lying outside the region outside the circle it is equal to 0 by Cauchy's theorem okay you can try this problem at as an exercise integral log z upon z minus 1 whole cube dz over a curve c where c is z minus 1 equal to 1 by 2 ok you can try this as an exercise it's similar to what we have done earlier just we have to see ok z equal to 1 z equal to 1 is coming inside the curve yes it is coming so that we can directly ok I'll give a hint since it is z minus 1 whole cube so third degree third power is there so third power means we have to differentiate f double dash z into 2 pi i by 2 factorial ok substituted at z equal to 1 next the next topic is Taylor's series ok it is just an expansion of any function fz in terms if it uh, if it is analytic into a series fz is analytic inside a circle C with center at A then for any Z inside C FZ can be written as FA plus F dash A Z minus A plus F double dash A by 2 factorial Z minus A whole square plus F triple dash means it is a third factor third derivative 3 factorial Z minus A whole cube and this process repeats up to infinite terms ok from this I can make a note complex analytic function can always be expressed in terms of power series as mentioned above represented by power series as above any complex analytic function can be written in the above form okay this is a Taylor series which tells about of a circle with center at a then it can be written then any fz any analytic function fz can be expressed in terms of a power series next is Lorentz series Lorentz series expresses a function fz in a winged shape region instead of a circular region it is a annular region ok that is if fz is analytic in Taylor series fz is analytic in a circle ok but here fz is analytic in a ring shaped region region R bounded by two concentric 
circles with center at A then for all that this is my region okay earlier the region was different and now the region is different center it a region r then for all that inside r i can write my fz is equal to a0 plus a1 z minus a plus a2 z minus a whole square plus dot 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 up to infinite term where any a n is equal to 1 upon 2 pi i f of z z minus a to the power n plus 1 dz ok so this is by Cauchy's integral theorem ok can be represented in a form of series for fz if it is a concentric circle region not a circle so these are the two, two power series theorems for expressing any analytic function either in a circle either in a circular region or in a annular region